As difficult as it is to predict where individual tornadoes will form, we can learn important lessons just by looking to the past. Scott, when we crunch all of the data and look at all of the numbers, North Texas is most likely by far to see a tornado in the late afternoon or early evening over any other time of the day. Want to get more specific? The most tornadoes strike within an hour or two of 5 p.m. And the months most likely to see a tornado? April and May. But don't let that scare you. The overwhelming number of North Texas tornadoes are relatively weak, either EF0 or EF1s, with winds under 111 miles per hour. Those tornadoes are easily survivable in a well built building away from windows and with as many walls between you and the outside as possible. While most tornadoes are weak, even a well built home can't stand up to the destruction of an EF4 or an EF5. Thankfully, those tornadoes are rare, but as I found out, there is one North Texas city willing to help give you some incentives for that extra peace of mind. Come on in. Wow. I've never been in one of these. This is Linda Fugit's new tornado safe space. Her family decided to install this in ground storm shelter in their garage so they won't have to go through the nightmare of December 26, 2015, ever again. We were helpless. We didn't know what to do. A tornado passed within blocks of their home. People died and entire neighborhoods were destroyed. The whole family hoped for the best while riding out the storm in this tiny bathroom. We had six people here when the tornado came, and we had no clue what to do. What they ended up doing was getting approval for a FEMA grant. Without this grant, we wouldn't have gotten this in, and that, that helped us so much. Like with other families, Ed Balderas helped. Rowlett's emergency management coordinator guides any interested Rowlett resident through the process of installing a below or above ground shelter. So most of these safe rooms are, are tested at the Texas Tech Wind Institute. Mm -hmm. um, they test doors and they test the sides of the safe room to ensure that uh, they'll survive an impact from uh, certain projectiles. This one fits right into an existing closet, is solid, and designed to last a lifetime. You can actually lock it from the inside. Okay. This does not provide uh, protection. These, these big, heavy bolts do. Wow. Yeah, those are the real deal. Residents in Rowlett who choose to install a safe room can get up to $3,000 back or up to half the cost of the total cost of the shelter. Safe room costs vary greatly from a few thousand dollars all the way up to tens of thousands for the largest and most advanced versions. Another rebate program offered by North Central Texas Council of Governments has a long wait list and is only available in certain areas because of the overwhelming demand. Now, a safe room isn't the only way to protect yourself in a storm. Almost any interior room in a solid building is a good option as well. Just remember, pick a spot in the lowest floor and put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. That includes apartments, too. It's a good idea to make friends with your downstairs neighbors before severe weather threatens. No severe weather plan is complete without basic emergency supplies. Some of the most important items include drinking water and non perishable food, a basic first aid kit, a portable weather radio with batteries, a flashlight with batteries, and a whistle you can use to signal for help. You should gather all these items now so you have them on hand and easily available in any emergency. When storms threaten North Texas, it is radar that sees what's coming. As meteorologist Jeff Ray explains, radar lets us track, analyze, and warn you about storms that threaten. This is our radar. We put this here on a high point in Parker County 16 years ago. It's a million watt C band on the west side of Fort Worth. So we can see storms coming in from the west or southwest, usually our strongest storms. CBS 11 radar's range covers much of North Texas and can scan an individual storm every 10 seconds if needed. The National Weather Service operates this state of the art NEXRAD Doppler at Spinks Airport. For long range storm detection, tornado detection, uh, it's, really, it's really a superior weather radar. NEXRAD looks at different levels of any storm, crucial to analyzing its potential danger. The Metroplex also is blessed with two terminal C band radars at DFW and Love Field. They deliver high resolution images in the heart of the Metroplex. They provide a one minute update on the lowest elevation, so uh, that's a little bit faster than the NEXRAD network currently gives us. But this radar in Midlothian is part of a system that makes the whole Metroplex unique. This is the first of its kind in the U.S. The CASA radar network is a 10 year 
private-public collaboration. Seven X-band dual Dopplers overlap and cover the heart of the Metroplex. Images are updated every minute. You know exactly what's happening when it's happening. We may have a tornado show up, and by the time NextRad picks it up, it's gone. Where Casa, you can see the entire path. And when you add up all these radar systems together? Compared to a lot of places in the country, it's, it's probably one of the better uh, covered areas in the country. And getting better. The Casa Network is currently working to add even more radar coverage and update some of the older ones they operate. Jeff Ray, CBS 11 News. Flooding and flash flooding can occur just about anywhere and at any time. It's the number one severe weather related killer in the United States. And most flood related deaths happen when people try driving or walking through high water. Water is more powerful than most people realize, easily able to wash away anything in its path. Just six inches of fast moving water can knock you off your feet. Two feet can sweep your car away. If you're driving and you aren't sure how deep the water is, there's a simple saying, turn around, don't drown. Even when you're on the go and away from your TV, you can still stay on top of any potential threats straight from the Texas weather experts. And it's all just a touch or a tap away. The CBS DFW weather app is a powerful tool to help keep you safe. It puts live radar forecast and most importantly, weather warnings right in your hand anytime, anywhere. Using it is easy. Tap on CBS DFW weather on your smartphone or tablet. You'll get a simple carousel style menu with options like current conditions, live radar and an extended forecast. Tell us where your smartphone is and you'll get notified whenever there is a weather threat for your location, whether that's a tornado, extreme wind or hail. The CBS DFW weather app is absolutely free for any smartphone or tablet. And an extra advantage, unlike some weather apps, the forecasts here don't come from an automatic computer program. They are generated, verified, and approved by your Texas weather experts. Coming up, it's a bold idea. Get right in front of a tornado and send drones and weather balloons right into the funnel. What some scientists are hoping to learn by getting right in front of a tornado's path.